Okay, hey, one, so this is the Hyger 999 or HG 999, also known as the 24 7 auto on and off LED aquarium light here. What is called the auto LED light or the 999. Uh, so, this is the smallest version of it. This is the 14 watt one, it goes up to 42 watt. Uh, this is 12 to 18 inches again for one I have. The biggest one you can get is 48 to 54 inches. Uh, you know, this is the smallest one they make. It still has 58 LEDs in it, and it is very, very bright. Uh, I'm really liking this light so far. Uh, I do, I will say too, they actually sent me this light to do a review on, uh, but this is my honest opinion here. And actually, a while back, I bought one of their other lights, uh, one of their bigger lights, uh, with my own money, and I'm, it's probably my favorite LED light. Uh, this one seems just as nice as that one. Uh, so I'm just going to go through these settings here and how to set this little guy here. Uh, so first we do the basics. To set the time, all you have to do is push and hold down the gear button right here until it starts to do that at you. And then you just hit the up or down. This is to set the time again. Uh, when you're good with the hour, just hit the gear again, and it'll go to the minutes. Hit it one more time, then you go 12 hour or 24 hour, again to adjust it, up and down arrows, and there we go. If you want to manually turn on and off the light, you just hit the light icon, turns on and off. Uh, it does turn on full blast though when you turn it back on. So hitting the up and down will adjust how bright it is. It's going to be down all the way without turning off or like you saw when it turned back on it goes crazy bright. To adjust what color the light is, you can see right now it is red. You just hit the colorful icon down here and it fades through the different colors each time you hit it, which is nice. So you're not going to scare your fish. There are a whole bunch of different colors on here. We'll go through them all right now. I love that purple pink color. It's probably my favorite color. When you're on any color you want, again, hitting the arrow key, arrow keys will go up and down, the arrow buttons, I should say. We'll go up, we'll turn up the brightness or turn down the brightness. Uh, if you want to turn back onto white, we will just hit that button again. Again, it does seem to make it go full blast, which is very blinding if you're looking at it. One thing I do want to mention real fast, because it kind of threw me off before we continue here, is on here there was a little piece of plastic. Most people probably realize this, but it took me a hot minute. Uh, so it looked like my buns were actually kind of scratched up. It wasn't, it was just a little bit of plastic was kind of bunching up. So make sure you take off that little piece of plastic if that bothers you. Uh, just a very quick note. Alright, then next we'll go through the daytime, daytime timer. Uh, so what you want to do here is hit this M and hold it down so you see the 51. And then hopefully you guys can see uh, right here is blinking. I don't know if you guys can see that very well or not. It just says uh, daylight on or off. So when it's blinking, you just hit and hold down the M again until you see the on and off in bigger letters there. So you can turn it on, or you can turn it off. That will be your timer. Hit it one more time here, and it will be a whatever time you want to turn it on. So right now we're in the hour hand our time there. So let's say 7, hit the M again. We'll say 7.30 because why not? And then it turns it on. And over here is your brightness level. So you can actually make it so it does not go crazy bright when you turn it on. Next will be when it turns off. Hopefully you guys can see it's blinking there again over here. So let's just say 9 p.m. Why not? And now your time, now it's set. Uh, and then you also have the brightness here. So that is really nice. You can set the brightness 
when you're turning on the daytime lights. Hopefully that made some sense. Uh, that is super easy to do. Uh, one quick thing to note here, as it says in the instructions, is when you're doing normal daytime, like we just set up there, you can only have, you can only do the brightness of the white lights. You cannot choose any of the other colors. Next, we'll do daytime lights. So again, we'll hit the M, hit the M again. It says 52, push and hold the M. Let me retry that. Press and hold the M here. Now, see over here, this says uh, nighttime, or moon actually is what it says. So you turn that on and off. So just like the daytime one. So we are going to turn that on. Hit the M once you're on on. Just like the daytime, this would be one it turns on, but now it'll be PM instead of AM over here. Uh, you, so 9 PM, that will turn on for me. And then you can do again the brightness. Well, so it's actually a little bit different for nighttime here. Uh, you can choose the color one that is blinking, but not the actual brightness. So then you hit your color button down here. I think most people are just going to do blue, maybe green, maybe red, I don't know. I would say most people are probably going to do blue. We'll just choose blue. We'll hit the M one more time here. That is incredibly bright. Uh, then it tells uh, it asks you what time you want to turn it off. Again, just like the daytime, we'll just keep it on 11.30. Again, to adjust it, just hit these here. And then there we go. So that's how you set the daytime and nighttime timers. So those are the pretty basic functions of this light. Uh, those are actually really cool. It's really nice how you can set yourself both a daytime and nighttime timer. Uh, and you can turn one on, one off. If you want to turn both off, you can turn both on. Or you can just do it like oh, how I will probably be doing it, just to turn on the light on and off uh, every day. Uh, but if you want to turn on the timer, that is how you guys do it. Uh, and that is, it's, it's very easy to do. Uh, there is another part here, which is a bit more in depth. That is the do it yourself mode. If you guys want to learn about that, just let me know. Uh, we'll make a separate video on that because that's going to take a bit more, a bit longer to uh, go through. Uh, there's a lot involved with it. Uh, but this is how I think most people will be doing this light. Uh, again, very, very nice. And this is not an expensive light by any means to have these nice features on it. So you let me know what you guys' thoughts are. Again, thank you, Hyger, Hyger, never know how to pronounce that name, for sending me this light. I'm very excited to to have it. Uh, like I said, I really liked the other one I bought with my own money a while back. Uh, it was a bigger, one of, the, one of the bigger lights, and it's just absolutely nice light. This one seems just as nice. So thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you all have a good one. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.